In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add user parameters to an existing model. Sometimes you get carried away in your modeling and suddenly you realize that a feature that you've used over and over again or a dimension that you've used over and over again, you really want to be a user parameter. How can you do that? Of course, you could go through all your sketches and your features, edit them, then look for the feature that you want to be a user parameter, create the user parameter and change them. And that's a perfectly fine way to do it. But I think it's easier that if we go to the modify parameters section, create our user parameter. In this case, I'm gonna create a parameter ply and I'm gonna make it three millimeters. Then I can go ahead and look all through my sketches and look for that three millimeter. And then I can change these to ply. If I go through and I find all these three millimeter dimensions, I can change them to ply, and then they will be linked together with user parameters. So I can look at the extrudes, and if I know a little bit about my model, I can see what these are, and then keep changing them. If you're ever unsure, for example, right here we're in sketch two, we can suddenly just go down here, close this window, edit sketch two, and see if that three millimeter is really a ply. So this is the one we already changed. We know we changed this one because it says FX3. And then we can double check. Oh yes, this one is also supposed to be ply. So I can double click it and type ply here. There's no correct way to change these, but going back and forth is a good way to make sure you're changing the right dimensions. And then to make sure you find them all, go to your modify change parameters and just keep going down the list to find out where you might have dimensions that you need to have. And of course, you can put in negative user parameters. So I'm gonna do negative ply here. Make sure you pay attention to that as you're making your different changes. For example, this one is also negative ply. Then we go down the line and this sketch does not have any of those dimensions. So now you can see that I have my user parameter here. And if I change this to six millimeter because I had quarter inch plywood and say, okay, notice my model automatically updates. That's the power of user parameters, and it's great to add them to existing models so we can update things automatically. We don't always remember to use user parameters from the beginning, and even when we are using user parameters, sometimes we forget to type it in and may hard code a value. But just go back up to modify, change parameters, go through your list of parameters, and you'll be able to fix your model in no time. Hopefully this helps you add user parameters to existing models in Fusion 360, and you're able to make customized parametric changes to your 3D models.